Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting distracted. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I keep getting distracted while I code on projects when I feel un understimulated or that it's not really challenging enough. What would you do in my position? Well, I would get problems that are more challenging. That's what I would do. That's pretty much the whole answer right there. I don't know how I'm going to stretch this into a full video, but because that is really the answer there. Uh, and I mean, if you're dealing with unfulfilling work as a software developer, then you're doing this wrong. At least from my perspective, you're doing it really, really, really wrong. This is the thing that I, uh, that uh, where I, I personally argue that uh, that being passionate about some aspect of software development is a prerequisite for you to even sur to survive in this industry you're never going to you're never going to get anywhere ever 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 if you don't care about the work that you do if you i mean it's not like you have to it can just be a job for you but you do have to enjoy it cuz it's going to be soul crushing otherwise and what's even worse is that your work is most likely going to suffer for it and people will notice most of the time if you're in a really shitty company where they don't really ma give two shits uh, they they don't care about anything right you might be able to survive but uh, on average guys this is not one of them laying around type of uh, w uh, of jobs where people don't give you know, they don't care if you come in, if you, you pr produce or if you don't produce in some situations absolutely you might get, have a lot of wiggle room but for the vast majority of programmers the pressure is up on you because we as the way that we work one part is that we're very individually responsible for the deliveries that we are that we're working on but also on top of that this is a high performance industry where the th the focus is on top talents, top quality or like delivery speeds and things like that, innovation, all of these things, being bleeding edge or being really innovative and things like that. All of these things are performance values, and these performance values do show. This is so. This is I mean, this is not like going and working at like uh, the counter in or going to a, a factory or something where you can just kind of plug out your brain and just not care about what you're doing it's it, that's not very sustainable as i said there are exceptions to this but the vast for the vast majority the reality is that you're going to have to be invested in something and so if you're dealing with problems that feel unfulfilling i mean if you just ask me that is that is my the, 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 that's practically the, the entire reason why i became a programmer in the first place i had a job a summer job when i was 13 working in for my dad in his factory and the entire job was to pull out a piece of plastic measure it just so and then cut it and put it on a stack for eight hours every day of summer if I mean if I gave my if I didn't believe that if I didn't know any better I would have I would have suspected that my dad planned that entire thing because the work was so mind-numbingly boring and unfulfilling that it scared me for life and to this day there's nothing I am more afraid of than being bored like seriously bored I will pick being stressed out of my mind every single day of the week over being really bored or feeling unfulfilled or as if something isn't challenging enough and th th it goes for everything I mean there are some days where I struggle to just get through the uh, the damn story because it's such boring work and I can't really deal with it it's the worst thing ever and so like if you're in that position I really suggest to you that you try to find more challenging work because trust me when I say this there's tons of challenging work there's so many things out there that you could be doing that doesn't have to end with you 
like being distracted or things like that. Okay, I mean sometimes I mean you can't have perfect days every single day. Sometimes you're just gonna have to bite uh, bite the bullet and just kind of churn through, which is what I do when I have these sorts of tasks. But one thing that I can recommend to you is to get really good at picking the right stories, knowing what to associate yourself with and knowing what to avoid. That's a talent that I have down to basically a science at this point. To the dismay of my coworkers, because they kind of hate it. Because I'm, uh, as I said, uh, pretty good at figuring out that this thing here is going to be boring as fuck if I volunteer for it, or it's going to be a bother. I'm going to own that damn thing for the rest of my life, at the very least, the life I have at this company. So I'm just going to conveniently, I mean, P.O.'s coming with really boring work. Look busy. Look like you're doing something exciting. And then one of the foolish, foolish, naive uh, other developers that are going to say, try to impress somebody and go, yeah, sure, I can do that. I can be, help can be helpful. And then we didn't see John ever again. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're working on unfulfilling work or that you feel distracted when you don't get a challenge from the work that you're doing, you need to try to find work that, at least what I think, find work that feels challenging. There's tons of, uh, if you don't find anything within the role that you have, uh, because you can talk to your manager and just explain, like, I would like to be on a different project. Like, try to figure out yourself, like, what would you find interesting? Usually a manager in IT is open to having that discussion with you. If you don't find it in the role that you have, you have other opportunities in different companies and so forth, because I do believe that it's really important for you to care, not just for yourself, but for the company as well. Because if you're sitting there being unmotivated or unfocused, your code will actually, well, you will cause damage to the project. That's why we need these enthusiastic and invested people, because the, the the quality of the work is the thing that is important, and the quality is dictated by how invested you are. So just plugging out and going on autopilot, it might work in some situations, but for the vast majority of IT, that's not a sustainable thing. So try to make your, do yourself that favor to find work that is stimulating. Have a great day.